obviously it was full of emotion. Uh, it was a very sort of emotionally charged speech. And it started off, I mean, it reminded me a little bit of an opera my wife once took me to see, which sort of, you thought it was just ending, and then it would sort of go off in an entirely new direction. Um, and, uh, you know, you didn't get home until much later. But the, it started off fairly sort of motherhood and apple pie, lots of sort of things, uh, you know, to do with uh, the ordinary sort of hopes and fears of, uh, of average Americans. It, then it sort of, midway through, it took a sort of slightly darker turn, didn't it, with some very, very direct... Um, critique of, uh, of Donald Trump and his, uh, his, his former presidency uh, and the policies that he's announcing. Um, you know, it's, it's stuck very much to the sort of guns of, um, of protecting people's individual liberties. Um, in terms of the economics, though, um, there's not an awful lot of content there. I mean, we've got the, the, the comparison of, of sort of middle-class tax breaks uh, against corporate tax cuts. I mean, both sides basically saying we're going to cut taxes, um, but, uh, you know, perhaps a bit more of a, a shunt towards individual householders rather than the corporate sector. As I don't think markets are going to be going out and, and, and doing a lot on the back of this, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, Rob, it was sort of more of an introduction, wasn't it? Uh, she really has re-energised the party after what yeah. happened with uh, Biden, of course, sort of stepping aside there. Yeah. And uh, the big question now is whether she can really translate that energy for the rest of the campaign as far as uh, some of those areas where she is still arguably sort of behind mm. with regards to, as one analyst had been pointing out earlier today, um, she sort of ticked the box with young people, but not so much with the rural folk and perhaps the older demographics yeah. as far as uh, that is concerned. As you say, a bit light on content when it comes to the economics, but I mean, you know, really this was about uh, the energy, as I mentioned. Um, but when we talk about the economics of all of this, what, what are your thoughts on what these two sides are starting to say about the IRA and energy in particular? Yeah, well, I think it's fairly clear where, where the, the, the Trump camp stands on, on all of this, which is, you know, the IRA is clearly a, a bad idea, you know, waste money, mm. um, inflationary rather than disinflationary, which is what it was in, you know, supposed to be all about. Mm. Um, and uh, and let's, let's free up um, fossil fuels for uh, as, as much as, as possible. Mm. So, you know, a, an unwinding of that. Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the Trump policy on this thing. He's not a lover of, of renewables. Um, so uh, I, I think it'll be sort of fairly, you know, quite a sort of winding back of the clock on that.